the Pittsburgh Steelers hired Brian Flores. And he is going to be a senior defensive assistant and a linebacker's coach. And this makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? I mean, it just, uh, this is the franchise that uh, has had the longest tenured African-American head coach in the NFL. And they continue to be successful. They have not had a losing season under Mike Tomlin. And this is a, I'm not going to call it a market correction, but this is, I think, the Steelers taking advantage of the market here. Brian Flores was a good head coach with the Miami Dolphins. He just didn't get along with upper management. He is vastly overqualified for the position that he is in as linebackers coach and senior defensive assistant, whatever the hell that means. But uh, Mike Tomlin did come out and say, I'm excited about Brian Flores joining our coaching staff given his history of developing and teaching defensive players during his time in the NFL. Brian's resume speaks for itself, and I look forward to him adding his expertise to help our team. Uh, this is this is a good hire for the Steelers. I understand that Flores is suing the NFL. I don't believe that that lawsuit has a lot of merit, uh, or at least won't be proven. Uh, it, but regardless, we'll see what happens with it. It is going to shake some things up. I just don't know what yet. And I don't think he can win the case. Uh, but regardless, it has made him somewhat untouchable, right? Uh, this lawsuit, uh, there's a lot of things in it that just make it where other NFL teams don't want to risk having him on their team. And I understand that. But the Steelers looked at it as, we have a guy that was a successful head coach, had two winning seasons with the Miami Dolphins, who are not a, a good franchise over the course of the past two decades. And he got fired for not agreeing with his owner, and now he's on the open market and nobody wants him? Okay, we'll take that. I mean, they've basically got him at a discount and I think it's I think it's genius. Flores is still young. He's only 40 years old. The Steelers taking advantage of a uh, a market inefficiency is hilarious because I kind of thought that the Patriots were going to do it. But of course with all the text messages that came out, Brian Flores of course released his private text messages with Bill Belichick. I don't know that Belichick was so quick to hire Flores back to his team. Uh might have felt a little bit betrayed there. But regardless, he didn't do it to Mike Tomlin and I'm sure that Tomlin looks at this as, okay, I can help mentor this guy. I can help develop him. And if we need a new defensive coordinator, he can be the D.C. Or he can go take another head coaching job. But we'll have him and his expertise and his development for at least one season. And I think that is a smart, smart move by the Steelers organization. They will continue to move on uh, doing smart things. Right? This is why this franchise continues to win regardless of how poorly built the roster is. And, of course, uh, there was all of the different talk about the fact that uh, the GM said that Mason Rudolph would be the starter if the season started today. And factually, that is correct. But if that is who you are planning to be your franchise starter for you know, the duration, for the future, I don't know how successful that franchise would be. Mason Rudolph, 5 4 and one Regardless, that stays away from the Brian Flores talk, but... You guys know how it is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.